We're celebrating the royal wedding, and everyone in my audience has a flag! Everyone in my audience has a party blower! And everyone in the audience has a glass of vintage champagne! Oh, that's me then. Let's start the show! Enjoy the royal wedding? Yeah! I thought as much. <laughs> yes, as we speak, Will and Kate have been married for ten hours. Oh. <laughs> and they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> uh, let's just have a look at a few of the highlights of the day. Here's Prince Charles enjoying the English wine they served at the reception. <laughs> Here's Kate Middleton's dad after the Queen reminded him that traditionally the bride's father picks up the bill. After a long day of celebrations, here's a picture of Prince Harry taken just seconds ago. <laughs> uh, I tell you, we've got a show fit for royalty tonight. Uh, pop princess, chart top and singer Adele <laughs> is here. I know. Uh, King of comedy, Jack Whitehall is here. <laughs> Sitcom queen, Miranda Hart is here. A lineup of young, successful, talented people. I hate them. <laughs> I don't. Anyway, I, I, I love Miranda sitcom. All those funny, clumsy falls. In fact, she's backstage right now, waiting to come on. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the sitcom, Miranda is the owner of a, a shop selling jokes and stupid novelties, like chocolate willies. You know, I've always wondered what sort of women would buy those. <laughs> Welcome one, welcome all. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Uh, my mother has made these <laughs> this morning and I have to give them to you. Oh. She's made some cupcakes and they're royal wedding cupcakes oh. for Graham Norton and they've caused quite a lot of controversy in the Whitehall household because my dad was like, you never make me cupcakes. <laughs> and my mother said, that's because you're not a national treasure, Michael. And so these are for you oh. to eat. Dear Graham, love Hillary. Are these poisoned? Will they kill no, me? No, they're very nice. <laughs> oh, look at yeah. them. Oh, look, we've got two kinds. There's an I Heart Kate <laughs> and an I Heart Will. Oh. I've eaten one of the Wills, so... <laughs> Do you want one? Anyone want one? I love Sh one. Should we say... Oh, you want to eat one? <laughs> no, I don't really want one. You want the Will one? OK, the there you go. Which would you prefer, Kate or I Will? I can see there's another Will There one. is another Will. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Give me the Kate! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, you, you, have, have, you have it okay. there, yes. I, I'll, I'll have mine later, too. <laughs> Now, I should explain, if you're watching at home, uh, we're recording this on Thursday night, the night before the Royal Wedding. Uh, so, people on the sofa, what are you thinking you're doing tomorrow? Are you, are you going to a street party, Miranda? Well, Hunt? get this, showbiz exclusive. I'm going to Patricia Hodges' house. <gasps> oh. That's She's like making me. cupcakes. That, that would be like being there. She plays my mum in my sitcom. Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, her friend Patricia, how nice. <laughs> they might have been a royal family member. And you, you are <laughs> going to a... Your, your, your dad's having a street party. It's not his street party, it's our, it's our local street party. Come on, you own the street, Jack. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> but I, I have to go because my mum's asked me to go sort of look after him because the neighbours don't <laughs> like him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, justifiably, because he's uh, not a very good neighbour. And so we had, like, the Golden Jubilee Street Party, which was all really fun. And uh, he got in trouble because he referred to one of the neighbour's children as the Mona Lisa, because she has a lazy eye which follows you around the room. <laughs> So I'm there to look after him <laughs> this time round for my mum. <laughs> uh, what is Adele doing? Um, me and my friend Jesse and Sarah were having a barbecue, but we're going to have to cook it now because it's going to rain. But yeah, we're having a barbecue in Brixton. Oh, nice. Yeah. It'd be lovely. Do you want yeah. to come to Patricia's? <laughs> come with me. Even down. Come with me and get insulted by my dad yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, you do love weddings, don't you? Yeah. And people love you at a wedding. Like, a lot of people have your songs. Yeah, make you feel my love, yeah. Aww. Aww. Don't cry, Jack. Ugh. <laughs> well enough. Well, because were you a bit gutted not to be asked? Were oh, you, were you was, slightly waiting for the call? There was a few going around. Yeah. Yeah, there was a few things going around. I mean, I like Ellie Goulding, but Ellie Goulding? Adele! <laughs> I'm busy, sorry, I've had this barbecue booked for longer than <laughs> 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 yeah, no, thank you. But also, is Ellie Goulding really going to sing your song with Elton John sat there? Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, oddly, you wouldn't think it, we have royal connections on the sofa. Uh, because Miranda... What do you mean you wouldn't think it? Look at us! <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't think it! Because you went to school with Kate Middleton. Well, <laughs> yeah, she, but she went to my school for about two terms, I believe. Not when I was there, because oh, I'm see. very old. But, uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see at my school, we were bred for queens. <laughs> you should have been there. I know. <laughs> I'm just muddling along. <laughs> OK, what was the name of your school? Dine High School for Girls, Royal County Berkshire. <laughs> Don't boo me! <laughs> was, it, was it as posh as it sounds? It was quite posh. It was sort of quite... Yes, it was quite high achieving. You go to a school reunion now, and I think it's quite good that, you know, I can say I'm a comedian on the telly, but that's frowned upon. You've got people going, oh, well, my children, mozzarella and bruschetta, uh, <laughs> are lovely now. You know, they're quite a brood. You know, work is a bit of a break, even though I'm the head of the UN. You know, so, <laughs> and so, so they go, you're a comedian. Are you, you've been on the telly? Oh, whatever. My first <laughs> girlfriend went to Stan House. Shut yep, up. It was a <laughs> And we were out for like three weeks, and she was very well to do. Mm. Um, but turned out, uh, as soon as we got down to a bit of nookie, she was filthy. So <laughs> I'm a big fan of Down House. Wow. <laughs> I got to second base in a stable. Wow. You sort of know how the school got its name now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to school with Kate Middleton? No, I wasn't at Down House. Um, I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't allowed near Down House after a while. <laughs> No, I, I went to uh, Marlborough where she went after that. Um, Are these uh, all private schools? Yeah. That, I mean, that's the most ludicrous thing about... <laughs> this Kate Middleton thing of being like, oh, yeah, she's the first commoner to marry into the royal family, and they write about her like she's from the ghetto, right? <laughs> <laughs> Marlborough College made Midsummer Murders look like The Wire, right? <laughs> we had one black guy in the entire school who was my friend called Daniel, who the headmaster used to use in every single school photograph <laughs> in order to make our school look more diverse. <laughs> Yeah, go and put yourself in the end of the row there. But I wasn't in the first 11 cricket team. Well, you are now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so she was there, but I wasn't there at the same time um, as Kate Middleton. But I know people that went out with her. And so <gasps> I, knew, I knew people that went out with her at school. Like, wow. Did they and touch her? So Did they touch her? I was so envious. <laughs> if I'd gone out, if I'd got with the Queen at school, I would never shut up about that shit for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Every time one of my so... friends opened his wallet to pay for a drink, I'd be like, yeah, I've tapped that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Adele, very exciting. You're off uh, to America yes. uh, to tour the States with uh, the new album. And it's huge in the States, isn't it? I mean, mm. obviously, we all know it's huge here, but it is massive there, isn't it? Is yeah. it number one? It's been number one. Yeah, it's number one still. It's still number yeah. Yes, it's still number one, actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so, the 12th of May, you're in Washington. Uh, tour of the States, and then you're back in the UK. I don't know why I'm laughing. Back in the UK. Why the, are you laughing? Because you're back in the UK on the 4th of September in Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I got the whole summer off though in between. Oh nice. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Oh, I that... do work hard, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> do stuff. And listen, and you're gonna be uh, singing uh, yes. a, a, a track live later on, so thank you very much for that. But you do suffer from stage fright still, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. Like how bad does that get? Like projectile vomiting in people's faces. <laughs> Oh, trying to nightmare back there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to escape a venue in Holland. Um, what, escape first, it? Yeah, like my first little arena show. <laughs> little arena show. <laughs> <laughs> arena. My first like arena thing. Um, I went missing for about ten minutes. Tried to escape the venue. But yeah, so I just get really frightened. And was it nerves or what was it when you lost your voice? Oh yeah, no, that was laryngitis. Oh, that was just yeah, proper that sick. Was just, know, yeah. was just proper yeah, sick. Yeah, it was a week before my album came out and I'd been in Paris and I was doing this radio station and they couldn't do sound for shit. So I had to scream over the band and my voice just went, it's true, they were rubbish at it. <laughs> and, um, and my voice went, and um, yeah, a week before the album came out and I had to have a chalkboard around my neck and a noteboard for 10 days. During and... the concert? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> I guess what happened because you now because because you are this industry now uh, that you you can't really just take a day off can you you can't just oh no I've been on a five day bender. No, I am. Um, yeah, no, I finished my U Europe and UK tour last Thursday, and um, yeah, it was non-stop till. Um, <laughs> Till yeah. about this morning, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just glad you're happy. Yeah, I'm glad no, you're, you get to enjoy it all. Yeah, no, yeah. Because everyone talks about all oh, the pressure of the second album, blah 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 blah. Yeah. So, uh, how did you cope with that, particularly when all the songs are so emotional? Um, I was quite oblivious to it all, really. I'm pretty oblivious to everything that goes on in the world, <laughs> really. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was just desperate to write. I broke up with my boyfriend and I wanted to write an album. And I did start getting a bit worried because like, everyone started sort of, like, kind of not delivering with their second album and they're artists that I love, so I did start to shit myself. And then um, <laughs> I think it was just timing and luck. And I think the Brit Awards performance had a massive thing to do with it. People seemed to really like it. That and was I that stunning. Was no, I thought I was really out of tune at the end, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I watched it back and I was like, ugh. <laughs> like, but I did start crying, so it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting that the songs can touch you. Yeah. Still. Oh, I'm bitter. <laughs> Songs. And have you spoken to him? A little bit. We check it like we're alive every now and then. On Facebook, like everyone else. I have just joined Facebook. Facebook. I've Did just, you? I've oh, just have joined you? Facebook. I've been stalking all of my ex-boyfriends and new girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Yeah, it's brilliant because some of them don't realise they haven't like set privacy settings on their photograph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do now. <laughs> they do now. They do now. I love it. And so the pap so you think the paparazzi follow you all the time now? Pretty much, yeah. Is that a nightmare? Yeah, it's horrible. But most of the time, I do get away with it. Like, if I haven't got my lashes and hair up, I can kind of get away with things. But the other day, I popped into an off-licence, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> I've had a bit a few days off, all right? It's fine. <laughs> and, um, and within two seconds, there were, like, 30 paps outside. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't call them. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't you have... Was it, was it this week? Was it this week you had the, the, the wardrobe malfunction yeah. thing? Because, now... Uh, please tell me no paparazzi got No, and luckily there was a bus stop full of people um, and luckily they didn't recognise me. But I'd woken up and I had a really embarrassing encounter with someone when I woke up. And then... Um, <laughs> this is really random, sorry. <laughs> and then I was so mortified that I left the house to go to go buy some milk and stuff like that. And I had... It was a hot day. And I had this weird dress poncho thing on that had no arms and was only on me around my neck. <laughs> And I went out and I didn't have time to like kind of, it was to about here. And I didn't have time to put anything on and then a gust of wind come. <laughs> and I was literally like hula hooping my dress around my neck. <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> Love it. They all laughed but I had no one to laugh with. <laughs> It was awful. <laughs> awful. Old men, old women, young kids. Like, it was awful. No, it's brilliant, brilliant. I've seen a tail naked. They didn't know it was me, but oh. they will now. <laughs>